Who's that Pokemon? So this is the one from my bag of stuff from 2005 uh, I thought it was worth another um, look at. Uh, basically there were these uh, mini postcards that have been in Smash Hits magazine. Um, and they're all like bands and stuff from 2004, 2005 and some of them I recognise, some of them I don't. <laughs> um, and so, you know, I thought I'd do a video and if you recognise some of the ones I don't recognise, let me know and I'll see what I can dig up on that band and maybe do a bit of Wikipedia cyberstalking and find out what they're doing these days. <laughs> because I'm kind of one of those weird people that does that. Yeah. I know quite a lot about um, the girl who played Mel in My Parents Are Aliens and her f musical career after she left the show and yeah, I know quite a disturbing amount about the musical career of the guy who played Hobbs in Weird Sister Academy because I'm a weirdo who every now and then thinks oh hey, I wonder how that person from that programme I watched when I was 15 is doing <laughs> Obvious one, busted. Oh my goodness, uh, Charlie the Eyebrow Simpson, how much I loved you so much. Uh, yeah, busted. I think everybody remembers busted. We can't not remember busted, can we? Uh, but they're, they're touring this year. Uh, I never did get to see them live. I don't think I'm gonna get to see them live this time either because it's quite expensive. Fucking arena tours. So glad I'm part of the rock scene. We have cheap gigs. Whatever! Yeah, obviously not a band, but basically my response to people who complain about gig prices when I'm on the door. I think, I'm not 100% sure, I think this is Darius Dinesh, who was on Pop Stars with a ridiculous goatee and quite long hair. And then he went on Pop Idol and they cleaned him up and I think he looked like this. I have two of his albums, um, well, they're my mum's, uh, but I do have them on my iPod. I think like, the second, they're actually both quite good albums because he did a lot of his own writing. Um, it wasn't just all sort of cheesy pop. I quite like Darius. Can't be a bit Darius. Club 7! Or actually as it's really pronounced, S Club 7. Funny story about S Club 7. My Freshers Week at university. Um, I don't know if Freshers Week is a thing for everywhere, but in Britain we have Freshers Week, which is the first week of university, and this is the, pre if you're an art student, this is the only time that you get to do the party thing. The only time, because for the rest of the year, while everybody's going, oh, students, all they do is party and drink, you're like, shit, can I afford paint this week or can I afford to eat? Ha! Huh. But for Freshers Week, we have the big party thing, and for some weird ass reason, um, it's tradition to get a band from when you were preteen to play a Freshers Week gig at your university. My friend, her university got Goldie Looking Chain. We, we got S Club 2. Because by that point, the band had completely fragmented. But for some reason, Bradley, who is this guy here, and, uh, oh, hang on, this is S Club 7 before the, uh, when they became S Club 6. Yeah, so we had Bradley, and we had another guy whose name I've totally forgotten, who uh, was in S Club 7 before they turned into this S Club. Um, he was in S Club 7. And he left S Club 7 to start a new metal band, but uh, yeah, that sort of didn't really take off. And then a couple of years later, he ended up doing S Club tours with Bradley. And it was really surreal, because we were all gathered at this one club in Gala Shields, because Gala Shields is where I went to university and they only had one club, and it was shit. Um, so we're all gathered in this uh, club, and uh, along under this vague attempt at a stage came Bradley and the other guy and they sang along to their CD and we know they sang along to their CD because um, eh, it wasn't just backing track because their vocals were very clearly in the CD mix that they were out of time with and B they sort of sang over the top of the girls vocals which was really really awkward uh, Bradley stood on my foot as I was trying to 
get to the bar after they played and they both tried to get some girls from my year to go back to their hotel with them only their, their hotel was in Edinburgh and we were in Galashiels which is quite away from Edinburgh it's like two hours on the bus or something <laughs> yeah and they refused to pay a taxi now I'm sorry but if you're gonna take someone back to your hotel room with you you pay their frickin taxi at the very least because yeah so they didn't get anybody to come back to their hotel room with them because like Northern women, Northern women don't go anywhere unless you pay our transport, Jesus. I have literally no idea who the hell this guy is, someone tell me. Ah, the sugar babes. I think this is sugar babes version 2, possibly version 3. The sugar babes seem to have gone through quite a lot of members. Atomic Kitten version 2. This is the version without Kerry Katona. I quite like I quite liked Kerry Katona's vocals. I, I did quite like Atomic Kitten with Kerry Katona. It's just a shame that Kerry Katona kind of Yeah, didn't really do too well at the whole famous thing. She kind of uh yeah, sort of lost the plot a bit and I feel quite sorry for her in retrospect. Obviously at the time it was all ha 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 let's all laugh at the uh, woman who blatantly has some issues in her life because that's what the tabloids told us to do but actually as I've grown up I've thought mm, no that isn't good at all and Call me! Please, please don't Although you can leave a comment below if you know who any of the people I don't know are that would be great Minging! Basically an accurate description of myself you can all gift this, post it on 4chan. Being a naughty girl? Things they used to give you in, as um, preteen magazines, Jesus. Good girl, girlfriends! Away from me, as far away from me as you can. Which is probably an accurate description of what you are watching this video. Shh! Or smash hits. Liberty X! Actually, this may, they may have still been called Liberty at the time. Ah, yeah, but uh, basically, Liberty X, uh, they did pop stars. They came second, I think. Um, they formed Liberty and then discovered that there was already a band called Liberty, so they became Liberty X. No! Who is this person? I don't remember! Mall Smash Hits logo. Gareth Gates! Oh my god, how obvious is it? That was a total pop weirdo in 2005 and then actually in 2005 I had started listening to like Linkin Park and stuff like that so I was learning I was learning but yeah I voted Gareth in Pop Idol I like Gareth so much better than Will Young Blazing Squad aka the band pretty much everybody would have forgotten if it wasn't for that hilarious episode of Nevermind the Buzzcocks a phrase? I don't remember this being a phrase. I remember it being a Jerry Halliwell song lyric but I don't remember it being a phrase worthy of a mini postcard. Maybe phrases swear a thing on mini postcards. Pretty sure that this was a Westlife lyric. I never did like Westlife. They just wanted to be boys on but they were shit. Speaking of wet flies, which is, you know, an anagram of Westlife. all that keen on. Drive by is okay song I think though. Wasn't it? I'm not sure who this was. Was it possibly Northern Line? I seem to remember there being a band called Northern Line and like every magazine gave away stickers but then I don't remember 
anything they sang? Maybe it was not the line. Maybe it's not. Someone tell me, please. It's all gravy! Okay, that one is definitely a song lyric. It's all gravy, I think, meant it's okay. Or it's all good. I think it's from a Nelly song, but I was never all that into Nelly. More Gareth Gates. This time comically holding a guitar that he probably didn't play. Bling! We all love a bit of bling, don't we?